And now, our feature presentation. All right, what's up, Hot Squad? Welcome back to the channel. So, yes, yesterday, the Game Awards 2022 has just released its nominations yesterday. And I'm definitely excited to check them out. And obviously, we know what's going to make the cut, what games is going to make the cut in this um, in the list. So, um, honestly, this year has been pretty good for games. Honestly, it has been. Really particularly, obviously, for God of a Rat and Rock and Elden Ring. So, I wonder, curious, really curious who is going to make the cut, what game is going to make the cut. Honestly, I really freaking hope a Playtale Requiem makes the cut, because it was still is my favorite game of the year. Until, you know, I get a chance to beat more God of Rat and Rock and Elden Ring. Um, hopefully next week or so. So, yes, Hot Squad. And, of course, Vit West. So, um, yes, Hot Squad. What further ado, let's check it out. The Game Awards 2022 nominations starting now. Hello, everybody. I'm Jeff Keeley, And on Thursday, December 8th, we are going to celebrate the best in video games and see what's next at the Game Awards, which streams live from the Microsoft Theater in Los Angeles. Yes, there will be new games to announce, the Game Awards Orchestra will return, and there are many other surprises in the works. But today, it's all about revealing the nominees across more than 30 categories, mm. including, wow. of course, Game of the Year, as selected by our global jury of more than 100 media outlets. Remember, you can help select the winners by voting at thegameawards.com and on our Game Awards Discord server. Who's in the running? Well, it's my honor to announce this year's distinguished nominees. Mm -hmm. yet? For best performance, the nominees for 2022 are Ashley Birch, yep. Horizon mm -hmm. Forbidden West, Not surprising. Charlotte yes. McBurney, A Play Charlotte, yes. Requiem, yes. Christopher Judge, Christopher Judge yep. God of War Ragnarok, yes. Man and Gabe, Engage. Immortality, Never heard this and game. Sunny Soldier, so, so, okay, God of War Ragnarok. Nice. In the category of best multiplayer, the nominees are Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, okay. Multiverse. I haven't played that yet. Overwatch 2. Really? Splatoon 3. I'm currently playing that. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mm, nice. Revenge. I'm, I'm going to For that. best ongoing game, the nominees are Apex Legends. Okay. Destiny 2. Mm -hmm. Final Fantasy 14. Mm -hmm. Fortnite. Mm -hmm. And Genshin Impact. Mm -hmm. That's funny. The nominees for best art direction are Elder Ring. Ring. Okay. God of War Ragnarok. Mm -hmm. Horizon Forbidden West. Mm -hmm. Scorn. Scorn, okay. And Stray. Stray, okay. For best score in music, the nominees are Olivier yes. de River, A Plague Tale Requiem. Love it. Tusaka Sato, Elden Ring. Elden Ring, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bear McCreary, yep. God of War Ragnarok. Mm -hmm. Two Feathers, Metal Hell. Never heard of this game. And Yasunori okay. Matsuda, Never played. Xenoblade Never played it. 3. The best thing. audio design Doomblade. nominees are Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, mm -hmm. Elden Ring, mm -hmm. God of War Ragnarok, right. Gran Turismo 7, okay. and Horizon Forbidden West. Okay. Innovation and accessibility recognizes games that are making our industry available and enjoyable to more people. Selected by a special committee of accessibility experts, the nominees are As Dusk Falls, God of War Ragnarok, mm. Return to Monkey Island, I think I heard that before. The Last of Us Part One, mm. and The mm. Core. Yeah, okay. For best narrative, the nominees are A Plague Tale Requiem, okay. Elden Ring. Okay. God of War Ragnarok, mm -hmm. Horizon Forbidden West, mm -hmm. and Immortality. Mm. Games for Impact recognizes a thought-provoking game with a profound pro-social meaning. Mm. The nominees this year are A Memoir Blue, Never heard of it. As Dusk Falls, okay. Citizen Sleeper, Never heard of it. Endling, Extinction is Forever, Never heard of it. Hindsight, Don't think I heard and that. I Was a Teenage Exocolonist. Season Falls. For Best Independent Game, the nominees are Cult of the Lamb, okay. Neon White, Neon White okay. Sifu, mm -hmm. Stray, mm. and Tunic. For Best Mobile Game, the nominees are Apex Legends Mobile, mm. Diablo Immortal, mm. Genshin Impact, mm. Marvel, Snap, mm, Marvel Snap, and Tower of Fantasy. Never heard of this one. Best Community Support, presented by Discord, recognizes a game for outstanding support transparency and responsiveness to players our nominees are apex legends destiny 2 final fantasy 14 fortnite 
and No Man's Sky. Mm, no Man's Sky. Okay, okay, now it's time for one of my favorite categories, Best Debut Indie Game, which recognizes a development team that made its first game in 2022, and clearly, they hit it out of the park. The nominees are Neon White, mm. Norco. Never heard of it. Stray. Mm. Tunic. Mm. And Vampire Survivor. Never heard of it. For best VR AR game, the nominees are After the Fall. Never really heard of that. Among Us VR. Mm. Bone Lab. Never heard of it. Moss Book 2. Don't really heard of that. And Red Matter 2. Don't think I've heard of that. For Content Creator of the <laughs> Year, the nominees are Carl Jacobs, Ludwig, Nebelian, mm, Nebel, okay. No Brew, and QT Cinderella. The nominees for Best Action Game are. Bayonetta 3. Oh, wow, Bayonetta 3 made a cut, okay. Modern Warfare 2. Mm. Neon White. Mm. Sifu. Sifu. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mm. Shredder's Revenge. Okay. The best action adventure game nominees are A Plague Tale yes. Requiem, God of War Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden West, Stray, mm. and Tunic. Okay. For best RPG, the jury selected Elden Ring. Mm. That's surprising. Live alive. Live alive. Okay. Pokemon Legends. Oh, wow. Arceus, Pokemon. Triangle Strategy. Triangle Strategy. Okay. And Xenoblade. Oh, okay. Three. The best fighting game nominees are DNF Duel. They were much good fighting games this year. That the thing. King of Fighters 15, Multiversus. Multiversus. And Sifu. Mm -hmm. What's the most anticipated upcoming game? Remember, these have to be games that are officially announced. The nominees are Final Fantasy 16. Mm -hmm. Hogwarts Legacy, mm -hmm. Resident Evil 4, Starfield, mm -hmm. and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Nice. This year, there's a new category. No Spider Man 2. Best Adaptation, which recognizes excellence in authentically creating shows, movies, and other creative endeavors based on video game worlds and characters. Here are oh, our wow. first ever nominees. Best Adaptation. Best adaptation. Wow. Okay. Arcane, League okay. of Legends, Cyberpunk. I haven't seen that yet. The Cuphead Not show. Seen that yet. Sonic the Hedgehog okay. 2. That's already, and yeah. Uncharted. Obviously. Next up, best family game. The nominees are Kirby and the Forgotten. I want to play this. Lego Star Wars The mm, Skywalker okay. Saga, Mario and Rabbids, Sparks okay. of Hope, Nintendo Switch Sports, okay. and Two three, Two okay. three. The best Sim strategy nominees are Dune Spice Wars, mm. Mario and Rabbids, Sparks of Hope, mm. Total War Warhammer 3, Two Point Campus, mm and Victoria 3. Never heard of it. This year, these five games are nominated for Best Sports Racing. F1 22, FIFA 23, NBA 2K 23, Gran Turismo 7, and Ollie Ollie World. Maybe just that might Next get up, it. we're looking at our five sports categories, starting with Best Esports Game. And the nominees are Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Dota 2, League of Legends, Rocket League. Been with years of Rocket League. And Valorant. Your best esports athlete nominees are Chuvi, Faker, Faker, Kerrigan, Simple, and Yay. Yay. Here are the five nominees for best esports team mm. Dark Zero Esports, FaZe Clan, mm. Gen G, LA Thieves, and Loud. Who watched esports, by the way? Best esports coach nominees are Blade. Blade. Bazooka. Doom Bros. Doom Bros. Robin. And Score. Score. The nominees for Best Esports Event are Evo, hmm. the League of Legends World Championship, PGL Major Antwerp, the MSI, Most of them don't care, and so. <laughs> Valorant Champions. And now, our final two All right. categories. For Best Game Direction, which recognizes outstanding creative vision and innovation in game direction and design, the nominees are Elden Ring, okay. God of War Ragnarok, okay. Horizon Forbidden okay. West, Immortality, and mm, Stray. Stray. Okay. And finally, on behalf of the jury comprised of more than 100 global media outlets, we go. I am proud to announce the six games selected for Outstanding Creative and Technical Excellence. The nominees for Game of the Year at the Game Awards are... A yes. Tail record yes. Hell yeah. Sobo Studio and Focus Entertainment. Hell yeah. Elden, Elden Ring, Ring obviously. From Software and Bandai Namco Entertainment. 
God yep. of War oh, Ragnarok from Sony Santa Monica and Sony Interactive Entertainment. Horizon, Force Horizon. Eden West from Guerrilla Games and Sony Interactive Entertainment. Stray from what? Blue 12 Studio really? and Annapurna really? Interactive. And Xenoblade. Oh, wow, Xenoblade. Wow. From Monolith Soft okay. and Nintendo. Nice. Congratulations to all the nominees. The winners will be revealed when the Game Awards streams on Thursday, December 8th. Thursday. And you can help select who will take home the award. Head to thegameawards.com right now to vote and also visit our Game Awards Discord server for voting. Stay tuned for many more details as we get ready for the biggest Game Awards yet. I can't wait. And it all streams live and free everywhere on Thursday, December 8th. I hope to see you then. And don't forget to vote. All right, then. Okay. Well, that's that, Hot Squad. Okay, interesting, interesting. Oh, wow. I'm glad that Playtale um, made the cut for Game of Year. Nice, very nice, man. Really nice to see Playtale 2 got recognition. Finally got recognition. Because I don't think the first one had got nominated. I'm not sure to see. But, yes, finally got the sense to see. It got um, Playtale 2 got recognition. Yes. Five nominations, by the way. But um, not surprised the most nominations. But I'm surprised. To be honest, I'm surprised Stray made the cut of Game of the Year. I mean, I might check it out. I mean, I might check it out. I know a lot of people are going eight crap, uh, you know, eight crap about um, Xenoblade Chronicles three making the um, cut for Game of the Year. I know fans are absolutely losing their minds right now. So, uh, yeah, glass it down. But yeah, okay. Uh, to be honest, I thought Bayonetta three was gonna make the cut for Game of the Year because I saw reviews of it and it was really, really freaking good. But um, I guess not. <laughs> it's just one nation. Sheesh. But yeah, um. Great picks, man. Great picks. Interesting picks. So I'm definitely going to be reacting to the Game Awards Thursday, December 8th, hopefully so, and check out, see who's going to get the win, or who's going to get the Game of the Year win. So, so, I'm definitely excited for it. Oh, yes, I'm definitely excited for it. So, there you have it, y'all. Hope, hope it'll be damn good. Hope it'll be really damn good. So there you have it, Hot Squad. That was my reaction to the Game Awards nominations. Oh, man. Interesting picks, very very um good picks, honestly. So um I'm definitely excited to see who's going to take the win, who's going to take the L. <laughs> so uh I'm definitely excited to see um a couple weeks, December eighth, which is Thursday. Interesting, it's on a Thursday, not a Friday, but who knows? I mean, well honestly, I don't care if what day is it. All I know is I'm very excited to see one of my favorite games of the year is going to make the cut, and who is going to get game year between Elden Ring and God of War? I mean, obviously, it's got between both of them, honestly. It was, it's really nice to see Playtale make the cut and Ryzen make the cut and whatnot. You know, I, I've said I got a chance to play Xenoblade, the first one yet, so I saw all this playing it, and Stray, I might check out Stray. So, yes, Hot Squad, that's going to be it for today, honest, um, honestly, so, um, I'm tired right now. I'm tired. So, I will do no reactions hopefully tomorrow and maybe later for the week or so. So, if you enjoyed my reaction to the Game Awards 2022 nominations, please hit the like button, comment, share, share your thoughts. Which game you think is going to win game of year? Which games on the list do you think is going to get any of the awards? So, Hot Squad, this is Taurus Hot Setup for today. I will see y'all later for more reactions. Have a great day and peace out.